Hello, my name is Isabella and in this video I'm going to show you how to use uh, Scraffito as a surface decoration. You will learn how to mix your slip with color, how to apply it, and then what tools to use to create sharp lines. For this project I'm using green stain from PSH as well as white slip that I made from scraps of porcelain clay that I use. Because the slip made with scraps is very chunky, I use handheld blender to make it super nice and creamy. I then clean the blender by running it in water and then unplugging it before cleaning by hand. Now the slip is much more creamy and ready for the Scraffito application. So I put a small amount in a container, like this, and then use the stain. I noticed that the stain had clumps in it and I thought it would be difficult to mix it directly with the slip, so I first decided to dissolve it in water. I kept stirring until the heavy chemicals that tend to settle on the bottom started to dissolve and then used the brush to help suspend them even better. When the color was ready, I added my small amount of slip to the mixture and mixed it evenly and well. Now that my colored slip is ready, I can go back to my project. I made some samples from the same clay as I was using for my project. But even before applying the color, we need to apply at least two layers of white slip on my dark colored clay. That is to make sure that the color pops out nicely. Otherwise it will blend in with the clay and it just won't look as good. Apply the slip to leather hard surface and wait for the layers to dry up completely before proceeding with the next layer. Now that the slip is no longer shiny, we can apply the second layer. I think two layers of slip and two layers of colored slip will be just enough for my project. And now when the second layer of white slip dried, I can apply the color. The first layer of the slip has dried, so now I can paint the second layer of my color. At this time, take extra care to make sure that all the strokes are the way you want them to be, because this is the last layer. And now, why not enjoy and spend extra time cleaning those tools? And now is the time to choose the tool for my Scraffito project. There's lots of options available, from specialty expensive tools to simple carving tools. You can even use a small ribbon tool that is used for trimming or a needle point. In a separate video, I'm gonna be showing how I'm using all of those tools and what kind of mark they make 
um, on the clay. The small wire end tools are designed especially for very detailed carving and scraffito. It all depends on what kind of a line you would like to make, uh, the depth of it, the width, the curvature. Anything that will comfortably scratch through all those layers that you have painted and reveal the clay underneath would be a great tool. The idea is that now we're removing the layers and making sharp line underneath. This is the simplest scraffito method with just one color. Have a dry, soft, clean brush handy to remove all the shaving bits. And uh, rather than trying to wrap them up with your finger, that is much easier and cleaner. Now here's some examples of my previous work. This uh, outline was made with the scraffito method and the color and texture was made with colored slips and um, that was made on red clay. Here painted slips were carved away to reveal warm brown clay underneath. And if you like to have really sharp black lines, nothing can compare to black clay with colored slips and underglazes. This, in my experience, was giving me the nicest, uh, sharpest contour that I could achieve. Once you get familiar with this technique, I'm sure your creativity will blossom and give you lots of ideas how to mix different colors, experiment and play. I used to be intimidated by the chemistry behind it because after all they fire different than they look like when they are still raw but I just decided to play and have fun with it without using any scientific methods. Here's another example on black clay with just one colored slip but very precise lines. It's best to use clear glaze to finish off your project and I would recommend a thin layer because when it pulls on black clay it will show a milky color and sometimes it can mute the colors. Thank you so much for watching and let me know if you've ever tried it or if you would like to try it, what would you like to make? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Here's some behind the scenes. <laughs> See, that's what the problem is that it gets through this bump. Uh, uh. My hand slipped. Why are you slipping so much?